Hi, and welcome to this Surfray-sponsored webinar on displaying ratings on search results in SharePoint 22. My name is Robert Pittock, and I'm co-author of Pro SharePoint 2010 Search, and I'll be guiding through how to set up the ratings on the search results in SharePoint 2010. Please visit our website, www.surfray.com, for more information, more webinars, tech articles, and uh, other SharePoint goodies, and also to get a free trial of our Ontolica product, which is a search enhancement for SharePoint. So, uh, ratings in SharePoint. Exciting new thing in SharePoint 2010 is the ability to rate documents, allow users to rate documents. Basically, we just allow them to uh, click on particular stars beside the documents in a document library or items in a list even and we can then uh, get different ratings for those documents. These ratings are set um, as an average of the total number of ratings so each document will get a value assigned to it as its rating and those will be displayed in the library as well so other users can see how well a particular user liked that document. However, in the search results, these ratings are not shown beside the documents, as you can imagine. Uh, I can show you an example of this here. Um, I've got my search results, and there are no ratings here. Nice looking search results, but uh, I don't know how much these documents have been rated by the users. So, I would like to get my ratings to display here beside the title, um, so I can see how well each document is rated by the users. And that's really my goal for this webinar. How do I do this? Well, I'll show you first how to get the ratings going in uh, in SharePoint. And then uh, I'll show you um, how to get a uh, managed property mapped from the crawled property for the ratings, which one to use for that one. You can see it here. It's the OWS average rating property that we want to see. And then I'll show you how to configure the UI and uh, in search results and fetch that property and display it. In order to do this, we're going to need some custom XSL, which I've written. <coughs> and uh, I'll tell you a little bit about how that XSL works and uh, what we're utilizing to make that XSL work. So, great. Let's jump first over into our uh, SharePoint. And I'll show you... We'll go back to Central Administration. <coughs> and I'll show you where we're going to map that uh, those uh, crawled properties. Now, after you've done the ratings in the site, maybe I'll jump over there for a second just to show you where we can do some ratings. I've got my ratings here in my site. <coughs> Please bear with my site for a second. And I've got my shared documents library, and I've added some ratings to that particular library here. You can't see them right here, but they're over on the side. And people can go in and click a specific rating and say, I think that rating should, that document is only worth a three. Now, one thing I can say about ratings, and which is a little bit outside of search, but from my experience, that um, ratings are more valuable in context than out of context. So if you have just a bunch of different documents that don't have any relationship to each other, rating them will almost be trivial uh, because each person's own rating will be completely subjective to how much they like that document and not managed or mapped to a specific business purpose, purpose for that document. But luckily with the way that we build libraries and lists in SharePoint, that library list should have some context, some usefulness to it. So if we have 30 documents and they're all about a process or a, a way to do something, rating those documents is actually going to have some meaning. And uh, as we can see, if there are two documents that are almost the same, but a little bit different and one has a higher rating, that can help users to get to the right document because he's going to look at the, he or she is going to look at the ratings from <coughs> the previous user and uh, get the best document. Okay. So, 
Now I'll go over to the central admin and show exactly how to uh, set up the managed property, the mapped property for the specific uh, property. So we'll go to application management, manage service applications, and we're going to go to the search service application. And on the search service application, on the right, we've got our metadata properties. And here is where we want to map the property for the rating. After the ratings have been made, <coughs> and there's a, <coughs> excuse me, an OWS timer job that updates those ratings in the database, uh, we're going to need to crawl those ratings. So we'll set the crawler out to pick up those that rating information. And then we can actually see the crawled property for this ratings. If we search for ratings now, after we've recrawled and the ratings have all been done, let's just call it rating, we'll see that there are a bunch of uh, mapped property, or crawled properties, sorry, about ratings. And we've got one called OWS Average Rating. And that's the one we want. There's a rating count, which will tell us how many people have actually rated that document. But um, what we're looking for is the average rating for a specific document. <clears throat> so if we click on that crawled property, we can actually see that there's a checkbox here that we'll want to make sure is checked so that we can include uh, values for that property. Then we'll need to go back and go to Manage Properties and add a new Manage Property. <clears throat> we'll call that Manage Property Rating. And we're going to use a decimal because that average rating, as we could see from the crawl property, is a decimal value. And we'll want to add a mapping. Now, since we've chosen decimal and there are only two decimal values, our average rating comes up at the top automatically. If we'd chosen text, we'd, we would have had to search for it. Well, I can show you that, for example. If we go to text and then we hit add mapping, we've got all the properties which is something nice that SharePoint does. It doesn't limit to just text if you choose text because that's the default. Um, and then we can search for rating and find that rating, average rating value. Now, you'll notice that there are, there are ones that are OWS, which is the SharePoint, and then there's an average rating value. We want the decimal value because we're going to bring back that decimal instead of bringing back a text value we can actually work with that de decimal value. So, okay, so great. Um, after we've made that mapping, I've already done it, we'll save it and uh, we'll get it. Now what we have to do here is we have to do a full crawl. Unfortunately for those of you who have, that have very large corpus, this can be annoying to have to do a full crawl every time you do a map manage property mapping. So think about these before you do your full crawl. Um, you should probably do a full crawl on your content relatively regularly as well, um, just for good measure. But uh, do think about that process and how long that's going to take when you're making managed properties. So I've got my rating property. It's in here. It's mapped to that rating value. The rating value is crawled and it's in, used in the index. So now I want to go to the front end UI and make some adjustments on that for uh, the actual search. So the search can uh, display my ratings. We'll go to the result page because that's where we want to display these ratings and we'll see that I've got this uh, value here or the results here without any ratings beside them. And I think I want to put the ratings right at the end of the title here. You can put them pretty much anywhere you want in this list, but I think for me that right here at the end of the title is going to be the nicest place to put them. 